Market update here on the 21st. Just pretty much straight down all day. There wasn't really ever a bounce. And ends up down 2% in the day. All the way down to 399. Finishes below 400. So this finish on Friday below the 20 day moving average is pretty significant because we got follow through on the next day. If we go back and look at other days we finished below the 20 day moving average, we had follow through on this one. Uh, on this one, we did not have, the next day was down, but we did not have follow through really. Um, going back here, we finished down here, a little bit of follow through and then came back up and then fell off a cliff. So honestly, we did not get uh, what I thought was going to happen. And we did get a little bit of follow through to the, we got follow through big time to the downside. So um, it leaves into play a few different possibilities. I'm just going back and looking at all these different times we finished below the 20 day and what happened. Most of them are pretty bearish. So again, we have these right here that stayed below, but they never made a new low. They all had the next day a little bit higher. This one made a new low. The other times we made a new low, we went down a lot more. So you got to keep that in mind. And I'm kind of on the fence for which way we're going to go from here as far as are we going to get a bounce here soon or are we going to keep it going down? So I'll talk about the most bearish possibility first. That is that we topped short term at least and this is a five wave move if that was a five wave move we'd be looking at it like probably not going to go into the sub waves one two i'd be looking for three probably somewhere around 393 bounce and then a move down to maybe 385 ish somewhere in that range potentially all the way down to that demand zone at 380 but that would be the beginning of potentially a five wave move that could take us all the way down to the October lows. So that daily candle below the 20 day might be a signal of more selling to come. And it certainly was today. This is the first possibility. This is the most bearish possibility. And this would most likely actually be an expanded flat. Because again, we have this move and then we get a wxy move right here if this was going to be a c wave i would have liked to see impulsive move um we didn't get that and so i would say that if we're gonna get a five wave move it's most likely gonna be um expanded flat probably down here to the 364 potentially all the way down here to the october lows could stop short here at 391 but i don't think that's too high of a target i think so if it's an expanded flat, I'm looking for at least 364. And I think that this possibility is less likely, but it's something you have to keep in mind just in case. Um, for this to happen, I would like to see a slight bounce and then a move down to like 393. And then um, another corrective move bounce and another move lower. We should be able to tell by tomorrow what's going to happen. But today was kind of, uh, I mean, we didn't learn anything new, I guess, today, besides the fact that the WXY pattern is not um, valid anymore. So the second possibility is this is an ABC pattern. And this is actually the A wave right here. And we're going down to 396.67. And I think this is more likely. And the reason why, I'll show you some individual charts here in a second. I still think this is the most likely scenario. But I think that what I had originally, W, X, Y right here, X, and then I had A, B, C like that, is not valid anymore. This has to be Y now. Uh, the reason I had that is because this one above the 1.61 Fib, usually W, X, Ys cannot go past the 1.61 Fib. So I'm, I'm going to keep it as WXY right now. And this is either going to be either, either, this is either going to be a bounce B C wave down. 
or this. So we're either going to go higher from here or we're going to bounce and go lower if this is a corrective move. It's a five wave move. We could go all the way down to October lows and make it an expanded flat in which this whole thing would end up being a B and then we'd probably come back up here again. So a few different possibilities. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, if we bounce early and go down to 396.50 and then start moving higher, that should confirm that we are in. This is a corrective move. If we go lower than 396.50, I would say we have a chance for this to be a five-wave move. So that's SPY. Uh, let's go over Tesla next. I was looking at this chart. I'm starting to think that this is not actually a five-wave move. Just my labeling, it just seems kind of weird. Even though it's very impulsive, the move, it just seems like it could be something else. And then also, another thing that's interesting about this chart right now is if I zoom in here on lower time frames, I think this is probably a WXY move. Um, I went over the fibs. We have A, B, and then if we take the 1.61 fib, it goes right up here. Um, I think this could be A, B, C, X right here. And then I think this is the start of a C wave right here. We get A, let me zoom in more. We get clear A wave here. We get um, B wave here in which this is A, B, and C. Goes above the top of this. And then we get a move down to the 1.61 fib for an expanded flat. So I think that B actually ends, or X actually ends right here, right at the very top of where W started. So we get WXY, ABCX, and then we get ABCA, pullback B. I think we're in the C wave right here. And then again, the 1.61 fib is right around the bottom of W at 190. So I think that Tesla can go down to like 188, 190, and then I think it's going to go higher. I think it's the same thing as SPY. I think that we're looking at something like um, pullback and then where it could go this, and then it could go lower, or this is the bottom right here, and we're just going to go higher from here. So it's kind of hard to say right now, but I think this WXY pattern is pretty valid. And so again, I don't think this is an impulsive move down that we'd be looking for if Tesla was going to fall off a cliff. It supports SPY going down to 396.50 and going higher. Same with Microsoft. We zoom out here in the four hour time frame. Um, the 1.61 fib of this move is at. 250. So again, I think this is another move where it could be something like this, pull back to 250. And then again, are we going to get this and then get that? Or are we going to get straight up that? I don't know. So we'll see on that. But 250, and I think that the market's ready to bounce after we go down a little bit more. Tesla 190, Microsoft 250, Apple hit its uh, parallel line on this ABC move. So hit it pretty perfectly. It can do the same thing, ABC and go lower or go higher from here. The VIX. The VIX is... Outside of its parallel line, I think it can go to potentially, if we get a five-wave move, it could go to 25, or it could have topped here. No telling with the VIX, but um, I would just be looking at this weekly candle. Can, can it get over 25.83? That would be 
um, very interesting for the market. If it does that, then I think the five wave move is in play. The dollar, the dollar is more bearish in my opinion than anything because I think it needs to go to 105, potentially 105.88, maybe 105.65, and so that's the only. Um, contrary like indicator all the charts are showing maybe a little bit more downside in my opinion spy as well but the dollar could go up here to 105.60 and i still think this is a corrective move though and so overall i'm bearish in the dollar but uh, we could see some short-term upside over the next couple of days so we'll see which one plays out is spy going to turn into a beginning diagonal and head down to october lows and this is the very beginning of it or is this just an ABC move down to 396.50 and we're gonna bounce and go lower or we're gonna go to new highs? Uh, my chart got invalidated for the last week, as I said earlier, so I'm just waiting to see which one plays out. We should get some clues tomorrow over um, what's gonna happen, but until then, I will just leave it at that. And yeah, we'll see if these hit their 1.61 Fib and if Tesla can stop around 190-ish. So leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Um, that was the most boring 2% sell-off that I've ever seen in the market. It was just no bounces at all, trickle down. But if you made some money today and you were able to hold all the way to the end, then that takes a lot of patience. And that's awesome. You should be uh, very happy with yourself. So that's it. Uh, leave me a comment. Like, subscribe for more updates every day after the market and sometimes during the market. Have a good night.